Good morning, everybody. It's Joelle with my Joshua Tree mug. My messy background. Sorry if you hear that noise. It's um, <clears throat> it's uh the allergy thing. What is it called? What is it called? I bought it like a few months ago for the dust mite allergy. Cause I've been waking up like every day of this summer, I'm telling you since like April, I wake up like feeling congested just from all the dust. And like, I could see that there's dust everywhere and I've been trying to clean it, but they said <laughs> if I clean dust, since I'm so highly allergic to dust, I need to wear an N95 mask, which I do, but it's just like this whole process and it's just like hard to keep up. Cleaning is not my strong suit. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like it got worse ever since I was staying with my family member for their surgery because their house was like really dusty because their house was going, um, their house like had construction workers. Um, so there was like all sorts of dust. So anyway, <laughs> I, I put, I usually keep it in the bedroom, but I brought it out here because I'm feeling so dusty. But anyway, this is going to be a pretty short video. I'm like, just woke up. Um, starting work in a few minutes. Um, I have my laptop open <laughs> and like my things open early, but I'm starting a few in a few minutes and I just wanted to check in, um, just do a little check in because I have a video that will be coming up soon. That is kind of like a throwback, like a, one of the old videos I used to do. Um, <clears throat> so that'll be coming up soon. I just have to like edit it so it takes like it's not any crazy editing but i just have to string the clips together and do a voiceover so it takes a little bit longer than like a video like this and i haven't um i feel like i haven't made a video since that cat was like following me right at the pool so i just thought i would do a little bit of a check-in so um it is thursday july 7th and um Oh, they're both over there. I don't think you can see Gertie. But um, <clears throat> I am feeling pretty good today. Um, I'm working today and for work I get to do some pretty cool stuff. I get to do more like, um, what's it called? Like production kind of stuff. Like I'm doing a photo shoot. I'm going to a couple different locations to do a photo shoot. So I'm super excited about that. Um, like I'm going to get a couple like housekeeping things done on the computer and then go do the cool photo shoot um so that'll be exciting and then um after work I have therapy appointment and um yeah and then it's Friday and then at the end of the day on Friday it's the weekend and I'm super excited because this weekend I'm going drum roll please I don't want to do it or they're gonna come over here I'm going boogie boarding um so I'm super excited about that Finally, I have something on my schedule <laughs> where I am boogie boarding. I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous, but I'm going with my friends who do it all the time and we'll look out for each other and everything like that. So here, my boogie board's right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about that. And then um, in August, my friend Maggie, she also is known as Snow. Um, her YouTube channel is Snow Explorers. She has an awesome YouTube channel. And if you haven't checked her out, I, I probably sound like a broken record, but you really, really, really should go check her out. Watch a few of her videos, leave her comments. She would really appreciate it. I know it. She's a super sweet, lovely person and we're BFFs and have been since well, we met in third grade. <laughs> Maybe we, Maggie and I could do a video about that. Um, but we've been BFFs forever and ever and ever. Um, so what was I saying about her? Oh, she's going to come to visit next month. We're going to have like a little friendship reunion with a couple of our other friends. And we are going surfing. Yeah. So I might surf like before she gets here, but it feels great having a date on the calendar. I even like requested off work to go surfing with her. So I'm really excited. I mean, weather permits, obviously like who knows, there might be like a big storm and we might 
have to stay in and watch movies but I'd be okay with that too but um I feel really excited like it, it feels it feels good to have like I don't know why I feel out of breath I think I'm like nervous but um it feels good to have dates on the calendar to keep me kind of like accountable or whatever um remember how people would wear their beanies like this You're kind of a nerd if you wear it like this, right? So you have to kind of have like a good balance, right? I don't know. I'm not a fashion expert. Um, did I already say that Maggie is hiking the Appalachian Trail? So she posts videos every single day. She vlogs every single day. She's a badass and she's the best. So please check her out. And like, I didn't know anything about through hiking before Maggie started doing it. Um, so you don't have to be interested in through hiking. You don't have to be interested in nature. You don't have to even know anything about any of that stuff, but her videos are so entertaining and I love it. And she inspires me every day. So thanks Maggie. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for that. Those are like the two big news. Um, oh, and I sent, I sent my beta reader copies of my poetry book to my beta readers. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. They're supposed to get back to me. I gave them a deadline of like August 1st or something. Um, so I'm really excited um, and really nervous. So uh, just because of time, I won't get into it. I won't really get into it right now. And I know a few of you who have asked me to do a video on my poetry book and I will, I will. I promise you I will. Um, but basically I'm just I'm in the phase where I'm having the I had like a few people edit it um back in like February um but now I'm in the beta reader phase so they're gonna be looking at my books and then I'll get the feedback back and then I'm really hoping to publish in the fall it's dependent on a couple of things but um I'll share with you in a separate video just remind me can you guys remind me if if you're one of the ones who wants a video about my poetry book can you please leave it leave a comment below um to just remind me so anyways those are the big things happening this weekend was awesome I went to my friend's baby shower um and it like <laughs> her baby showers are super fun because they're not like all the games and stuff it's just like everybody comes together we didn't even like open presents or anything um we just hung out in the pool and like had a great time and like I hung out with little kids and they're so sweet like I love the age I think like most of the kids there were like three years old I love that age it's such a cute age where they're like talking to you and they're like so brave and like they're like swimming in the pool and they're like way braver than me swimming and like um that was really fun and then it was my niece's little birthday party when I say birthday party it was like <sighs> like eight of us I think um just like the immediate family on both sides and that was super fun and um what else did we do oh I cooked Indian food on the 4th of July because that's like a tradition that I don't really know why it became a tradition in our household like with me and my boyfriend but every 4th of July I cook him Indian food I don't know how it happened but I love it well Indian inspired food like I I'm not Indian I don't even have any like Indian family members like to pass down recipes to me or anything like that. I'm just like a white girl like who loves Indian food. I'm trying my best. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay, yeah, I have about six minutes before I have to work. So let me wrap this up. But um, I made gluten-free vegan naan and it was actually delicious because last year I made gluten-free vegan naan and it wasn't good the year before that I made regular vegan naan and it was delicious but that was before I realized that I was slightly allergic to gluten um so the naan was so good and like making bread is such like a high reward it's like so fun um and then I made um well I call it alu gobi matar because that's what it's like inspired by that but all the previous years I made all the sauce everything from scratch like I got jalapenos and tomatoes and like all the different spices and blended it up and made all the sauces completely every everything I made was completely from scratch that took me like eight hours last year so this year I was like you know what I'm just gonna use Maya Kamal sauces because I love that brand um I won't speak too much more into that but I love them they're awesome and um I was like let me just let them 
do it better for me because they could probably make it better than what I make anyway. It's probably more authentic. So I bought a bunch of different sauces. Um, I forget exactly the, the ones that I bought, but I made a bunch of different, or I used a bunch of different um, of their jarred spices. If you haven't tried them, you should. I forget which one I used for the Alu Gobi Matar, but I was trying, I was like looking at recipes and ingredients and trying to match like a similarity. Cause like, I feel like it's usually like a tomato, tomato-y kind of, I could be wrong tell me if i'm wrong like a tomatoey kind of curry for the dish that i made um and i was looking at the ingredients i was like okay like this one is similar to that um and then i made like chana masala which was really good but once again i use like a different you know what i oh you know what? i do know what i used for that one i used the spicy vindaloo sauce from my kamal um and it was so good it was like almost too spicy it was delicious um and what else did i make Was that it? Just the naan and then the two dishes? I think that was it. My face is itchy. I feel like the dust mites are like biting me. Also, I had Takis for the first time yesterday in like literally like five months or something. So you could see my red fingers. <laughs> anyway, um, it was great. And this week at work has been really great and fun. And um, I'm excited for um, the cool stuff I get to do at work today. So I'm going to wrap up so I can kind of you know, start my day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a really fun video coming soon, hopefully tomorrow. I don't know if I will have time to do it after work today because my therapy appointment, <coughs> but hopefully tomorrow. <coughs> <I'm dying. coughs> okay. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this from the video, leave a video game controller emoji. Um, and remember to always be kind to animals. Adopt or shop. Never buy dogs. There's never an excuse to buy dogs. Especially when there are 70 million homeless animals in the United States alone. And I'll catch you on the flippity flip. See ya.